hybrid reactor. Roll off. What's up, Reactorites? I'm John. I'm Mike. And uh, Comic-Con is just over, and we're trying to catch up on all the trailer craziness. Uh, you know, we got the Justice League, we have The Flash, Suicide Squad, Doctor Strange. Uh, for this video, we're going to be checking out the trailer for Wonder Woman, starring Gal Gadot. Uh, so, let's, let's check it out. Captain Kirk. You're a man. Yeah. I mean, you know, do I look like that? Huh? <laughs> Asgard. You have been <laughs> my greatest love. Be careful, Diana. I do not deserve you. Hmm. If you never met a man before, I mean, what about your father? I had no father. I was brought to life by Zeus. Until Kratos killed him. Well, that's neat. <laughs> Travis, secretary? What is a secretary? I go where he tells me to go and I do what he tells me to do. Oh, well, where I'm from, that's called slavery. <laughs> I really like her. Fantastic. Oh, Ladies, after you. I do. I like her. <laughs> wow, so that was the trailer for Wonder Woman. It's uh, very action packed and it looks it looks pretty badass. Uh, the uh, setting we have uh, World War I, we have the soldiers fighting Wonder Woman. None of the soldiers have a chance. She's just pretty much a god, and uh, she's like deflecting bullets, uh, like with other characters when they're like set in like a war uh, era. You kind of feel like uh, they could be doomed, but here I don't think anything can stop Wonder Woman. Uh, she just like knocks out missiles like nothing, or not missiles, but uh, the mortars. Um, she's she's just tackling everyone but we'll see I'm hoping that she's gonna face a villain that's worthy of her strength yeah I mean this is really cool I really enjoyed this trailer um, yeah I, I think she's kind of has like a, a different dynamic compared to like other superheroes because she's, she's kind of like a mixture of Thor and Captain America yeah because she's like She's kind of like that whole, what is it, man, or woman out of time kind of thing. Yeah. And she's also like... She's but instead of out of time, she's just out of place. Yeah. yeah. But then, you know, this this movie takes place before, you know, World War One. So, I mean, we're probably not going to see Chris Pine later on in the in the uh, DC universe. You think it's going to be like... Oh, yeah, because it's World War One. This is way before World War II. Because in Captain America, you have, uh, you have uh, Agent Carter, and she grows older. Um, so I wonder if uh, she's gonna see like an older uh, Steve Trevor later on, like in the seventies. I don't know. I that'd mean, be that'd be interesting to see. Yeah, but I I really like the look of it, and then the whole like her just like kicking ass, and them not really knowing how to deal with you know with Wonder Woman was really cool. 
And I hope, like, you, you see, like, the lasso of truth. I hope they don't actually, like, call it out. Like, this is the lasso of truth. <laughs> or one of the guys fighting is like, wait a minute. That lasso, it speaks truth. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if she's going to have the invisible jet? Yeah, she's just, just going to be, like, cheesy. <laughs> she's going to just th- just take off in it. <laughs> yeah. No, just imagine in the movie she has the invisible jet. She just flies down. It's just She's just floating and just sending out bombs and whatever. <laughs> Just blowing everyone up. She's like a one man army. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm interested. There's gonna be like, I guess we haven't seen the main villain yet, yeah. and um, I'm hoping it's gonna be Ares, the god of war. Mm-hmm. And uh, if he's there, maybe he's like in hiding. He's dressed as, he's dressed like a normal person. So you can't really tell who he is. But if he's not there, or if uh, she doesn't uh, face, if she doesn't face like a big uh, threat, she can just mow down the opposition like nothing. Like she can help turn the tide of World War One, and uh, they could just say, oh, we don't need to send any more soldiers. Let's just send in Wonder Woman. Okay, so you do see Amazonians taking down uh, regular soldiers on in what would be one of the beaches for uh, Themyscira, so how does that yeah. happen? And uh, I guess they, they were trying to look for a Themyscira. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. Like Maybe the, uh, the bad guys are looking for that magical place, and so the Amazons are just trying to protect it. Yeah. But just looking at uh, the mascara, it looks great. Like just uh, the bits and pieces we see. So I'm hoping we get to see more of that and just more of like the Amazon's training. Like I, w- I want to see like just tough woman just fighting and uh, just just tearing shit up. Yeah. Yeah. So Wonder Woman, I'm definitely looking forward to it. What about you? Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. And uh, this one is directed by Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins was originally supposed to direct the uh, third Thor movie. But she decided to leave the project due to creative differences. And uh, for Wonder Woman, uh, one of the directors that was supposed to direct it was Michelle McLaren. Uh, and she uh, she's done some stuff like Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. But she left the Wonder Woman project due to creative differences. So it's just funny how people are just leaving because uh, it's just uh, it's not their cup of tea. Yeah. So for this one, it looks like Patty Jenkins, she's sticking with it. And... Um, Looks like she's doing a good job so far based on the trailer, so I can't wait. I'm hoping the movie is just going to kick a lot of ass. So let us know what you thought of the trailer on the comments below. With that said, I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys next time. There is a stranger who comes to this village from the sea. He comes in the winter when people are hungry and brings fish. He comes on the king to 